Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I am in Phoenix, Arizona, and today, uh, along with Ying, my wife, and our great friends Carlos and his wife Annette, we are going on a camping expedition exploration trip. Uh, we are on the road now, and this should be a lot of fun. Before we get started, we are stopping at El Rancho Market and gonna buy some food, at least a lot of meat, carne asada, uh, to grill, and some other delicious foods. Yeah, we came into El Rancho and we decided to sit down for breakfast, uh, kind of in between breakfast and lunch, but the food looks incredible and I could hardly decide what to eat. Uh, finally decided to go for the, is this chile verde or, or salsa verde? Puerco and salsa verde. Puerco in salsa verde, which is green salsa with pork and it just looks amazing. Added some onions and some um, cilantro to the top and got some salsas as well and some fresh tortillas as well. Oh, this looks amazing. Okay, and I'm gonna eat this immediately. Mm, that pork is so tender. And then that salsa verde, the green salsa, it's a little bit sour, um, just a little bit spicy, and just outrageously flavorful. <laughs> Did we have a cart? What type of beef is this? Arachera de res. Beef flat meat looks incredible. I think we gotta get some of this. That was a highly successful trip to El Rancho. The breakfast was incredible. That chile verde was marvelous. And then we bought some beef and some pork and some things to make salsa um, once we get camping. We got a lot of groceries. Did we forget ice? Yes. Oh yeah. Just what I want. Okay. Think we can fit everything in the car? <laughs> I'm trying to fit it. <laughs> okay, we are at Fossil Creek now and we are at Tonto Bench, but I think we're gonna drive a little bit further to the waterfall trailhead and that uh, we're gonna start a hike there just one mile to the waterfall. Okay, we made it to the trailhead, Fossil Creek Waterfall Trailhead. Gonna take the little hike. I think it's about a mile, so it shouldn't take too long. It's not too cold, but the, the wind is pretty cool. So we'll see how the water is, but gotta go for a swim since we drove all this way. Okay, we are hiking right now along the side of the river, and the water is really beautiful, uh, extremely clear, and I haven't touched the water yet, but I'm sure it is very, very cold, but it looks very refreshing. We made it to the waterfall and spent about 10 minutes there, uh, but decided not to go swimming there because there was a lot of people. And actually the water wasn't as nice at the waterfall as it was further back up the stream. So, uh, but nice to see the waterfall. And now we're walking back towards where we parked the car. And I think we're gonna hopefully swim there. There's a nice pool of turquoise water and a medium sized waterfall over there. Uh, but this looks like a prime destination to take a swim. And nice, good thing the sun is still out, so we're gonna go for it. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Once you get out of the water, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I can't stop shaking right now. Yeah, I'm like numb, I can't feel my body. <laughs> but that's a lot of fun though. Okay, we made it back to the car and that was a 
really nice hike and a nice swim as well. Very refreshing. And now we are driving to find a place to go camping. And we gotta kind of get out of this kind of section near the creek uh, as they don't allow camping. I guess they don't allow camping here and they also don't allow campfires. But if we go a little ways away from this uh, main area into kind of the mountain a little ways away, uh, we, are, are, we are allowed to make a campfire and also go camping. So that's where we're headed now before the light goes down. We found a camping spot, a nice quiet place just off the road, but this will definitely do. There's even some wood for us. That thing burns nicely, huh? We got the fire going easily uh, using some of that dry brush. Actually, it was right around the campfire and then there were some sticks as well. Um, and we have a bag of charcoal, so we added that to the grill or to the fire. And now we're gonna start preparing the meat and the vegetables for the carne asada, which I cannot wait. I am, I am getting extremely hungry just thinking about it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I can immediately smell it. Oh, oh that, looks, that is beautiful. Man. That is beautiful. Oh, this steak smells ridiculously good. And this is the meat that we bought earlier today at, at the El Rancho Market. Oh my goodness. And the beans are over here sizzling away as well. What's up? You want to come try? Oh, that looks wonderful too. Uh, there are, what is all in here? Uh, tomatoes, Onion. onions, cilantro, cilantro uh, jalapeno, serrano. Serrano. serrano, serrano chilies, and also lime juice, right? Yep, and salt. I'm supposed to taste it? They have appointed me to, to taste it for delicious content. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It is sour from lime juice, a little bit salty, but really nice and fresh. That is going to go ridiculously well with that carne asada. Carlos has finished cooking the carne asada, and this is the, what is, what is it called? Ara, Ara, arrachera. 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 Mm -hmm. Which is the cut of meat, which is an awesome, awesome marbling cut of beef. And now just heating up uh, some tortillas over the fire. Add some of this, the carne asada. Oh, oh just look at that juiciness. Oh, okay, put some of this beef onto my tortillas. And I'll just break it into, oh, it is just so tender and so juicy. Before I eat that taco though, I'm just gonna have a quick taste of this beef real fast. That is insane. That is so juicy and so tender. And all that is, is the beef, the carne asada, and salt. And that is absurdly good. It's so juicy and so flavorful. Just look at my fingers. But that meat is so good. It hardly needs any, actually doesn't even need anything. It's so good. But this will even make it more amazing. We just set this down on that. Mmm. That is awesome. That beef, yeah, that just beef is incredible. These are good fresh tortillas that we bought from the, the market this morning. And then that, that pico de gallo, that salsa is nice and very flavorful from the lime juice it's nice and sour from the lime juice and just a little bit salty as well that simple combination is
ridiculously good. We finished that awesome carne asada. Carlos cooked it perfectly, uh, nice and salty, but just extremely delicious beef flavor. Um, and now we are stuffed and we added a log to the fire so it's burning a little bit, but it's so quiet and the weather is not too cold yet, um, but it is definitely getting colder. When there's a gust of wind, it gets extremely cold, but it's not too bad without the wind. Oh, and right as I say that, here comes a gust. <laughs> here comes a gust of wind. We actually have some air mattresses that Carlos brought, so we are ready for a comfortable sleep. And yeah, I'm, it's been a fantastic day. I'm ready for a good night's sleep. So I will see you all tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. I just got out of the tent, um, slept pretty well. My feet were a little bit cold, but my everything else, I was, I was warm, but it is a nice, bright, sunny day. What I like most about this place is just it is so peaceful and so quiet. Um, and I am enjoying the sun thawing out. Okay, for breakfast, we've got a couple cans of tuna and a can of my favorite sardines. Yeah, we didn't really plan too much for breakfast, so we're just gonna have some cans of fish. Sardines. Come on. Mm. That is nice and meaty, and yeah, I do like sardines. I think it's one of the best canned fishes, fish available. protein breakfast. Okay, you're clear. Okay. We packed up everything and we took the drive over to Tonto Bridge National Park, which is just couple miles past Strawberry Town. Oh, this is which, okay, we're gonna go this direction. There are a number of different viewpoints at the top near the parking lot, but we took the hike down to the bottom of the stream uh, to see the, the arch, which is kind of like a cave or a natural bridge uh, from the bottom. See the top up there and water coming down. I'm standing almost at the base of the where the water is falling from the from the top of the bridge and if the wind blows a strong gust I might have a shower coming my way but down here it is much cooler than up there with the, the tunnel breeze and also just the, being close to the water as well and also being in the shade I am inside or below the bridge right now and it's really a really cool place. Uh, looks like a cave inside of here, but it is all open air, of course, uh, and lots of light. But yeah, you can see all of the rock formations and and yeah, just all the all the buildup that creates the bridge. And then there's a window opening up on that side. We are going up a slippery, slippery rock face here, and then below is the beautiful water. But this is just a beautiful place. We are hiking out of the Tonto Bridge, uh, and this time a different route, taking more of a, a rock boulder hopping route. And we have come to a section where we have to climb up a climb a kind of a waterfall steps. Nice. It's really nice. Is it getting wet? Yeah. It's raining in here. <laughs> oh, that is cold water. We just got out of that really wet and tropical area. Really felt like I was back in Thailand or some somewhere near the equator in the tropical rainforest. But that was a lot of fun. And now we are hiking out of this little canyon.
That was a fantastic stop at Tonto Bridge National Park. I really enjoyed that hike and walking through the waterfall and just through that bridge. Now we are driving back to the main road and we're gonna head through Payson, a little city called Payson, and try to find something for lunch. So in Payson we stopped by at a restaurant called Suzy Q's Barbecue, which is a famous restaurant for barbecue. We got here a little bit late, so they are all out of a bunch of the, the things, especially the pork ribs, which is what I really wanted to try, but I did get a, a beef tri-tip sandwich. Oh, Ying got the pulled pork. Oh, ho, 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 Ying. That is a lot of pork. Okay, Ying got the pulled pork, and then I got the, oh, so did Carlos and Annette. They got the pulled pork. I guess I'm the only one who got the, the beef tri-tip. It's just oozing with it's meat. <laughs> I like how they put the meat separate from the separate, sauce yeah, so that you can like, like that. yeah. Otherwise sometimes it's too soggy. sweet and too soggy, yeah. That is a lot of meat pressed between two buns. Just look at that amount of beef. Okay, and then the sauce. I don't even know if it's possible to lift this up. I'm gonna just take a piece of beef that fell out the side and dip that first. So smoky and extremely tender and juicy. Well, that is good. Now I'm gonna try Ying's pork real fast. Mm. Steal a, a bite off of Ying's pork sandwich. Oh, the pulled pork. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I lost a little piece of pork. Okay. Damn it. Mmm. Mmm. Pork is extremely good too. Actually, they're both really good and really, yeah, really well smoked. Um, you can taste the quality of it. Okay, just finished that beef tri-tip sandwich, pulled tri-tip. That was awesome. Really smoky, but really good quality beef. And that is the the smoker over there. Awesome place. If you're ever passing through Payson, this is a highly recommended stop for delicious food. All right, we made it back to Phoenix. Uh, that was a fantastic camping trip. Um, I loved everything about it, especially the carne asada last night was the highlight for me. Uh, but really all the food and all the activities. Swimming in the Fossil Creek was a lot of fun, uh, but just a great uh, little short trip. That was just for one night, and I think just about 28 hours or so. Uh, fantastic time. Thank you to Carlos and Annette and hope to take many more camping trips in the future. So thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And also be sure to subscribe for more travel and food videos and I'll see you on the next video.